Well, hello and welcome to uh, another episode of Photography on YouTube. I wanted to uh, present you with a Lightroom tutorial today. I'm using Lightroom 6.7 uh, and uh, a Windows uh, machine running, running Windows 8.1. Um, I got the question about how to make uh, collage images in Lightroom using the print module and I wanted to walk through that you may have to tweak your own uh, collage to your liking, um, but oftentimes these collages are helpful for providing a sneak peek on uh, Facebook or other social media sites. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing I've done is I've created a collection of images uh, that I will be using in my collage or to select from. So here you can see uh, the image that I've selected. Then I will go to the print module and click there and um, in the print module oh, it may start off looking something like this your screen may look a little different depending on where you start but uh, the first thing that you want to do is you want to select from layout style a custom package um, I am going to clear this so that uh, this is sort of what what we're going to end up with um, at the end Let me clear this Clear layout. There we go. So we can start fresh. Um, but again, layout style, custom package. The next thing you want to do is go down to your print job, surprisingly enough, and pick your file resolution. For screens, um, sharing things online electronically, 72 ppi is going to be fine with a JPEG quality of 90. That's fine. The next thing that I do um, is I set up my custom file dimensions. So in this case, uh, this, these are the file dimensions for sharing a photo on Facebook. And I've selected uh, 1200 point by um, uh, 630 point. Yours may say inches. Uh, if you want to change the dimensions, and this was a little tricky for me to figure out, it's buried a little deep. Um, if you want to change the dimensions here, it's under rulers and guides, and then uh, under ruler units, you you pick what you want. So I it may be uh, inches initially. Oops, sorry about that. It may look like inches at first, but if you want to measure in points, um, you go rulers and guides, points, and then set up your size from there. In I keep doing that. Sorry. Um, in the file dimension section, okay? So uh, we have here our layout. Um, I have a grid showing right now. We can change that view, uh, uh, or whether we see that or not, just with some of the view options. I have the guides showing right now and the ruler showing. Um, you know, that's just the way that I like it. You can like it different ways. Um, so the next step we wanna do is start drawing those cells uh, that you saw there. So um, we want to go into uh, cells and in the cell section it has uh, some preset options that you can use. So if we want a 4 by 6 ratio cell we can click on that and voila we have a 4 by 6 cell here. Um, uh, you may want this to be smaller or bigger. You can adjust that using the handles. Um, you can also set it so that it snaps to the grid itself. Um, and that can be done in your view menu. Um, view, um, I think, show guides, show rulers. Nope, excuse me. Rulers and guides, grid, there we go, grid. So there, um, so if you want to keep things lined up. But anyway, uh, you can go on through this, just adding cells um, and adjusting cells to how you like them. So I'll add a couple more cells here. Say I want one here. I could space these out and arrange them so that they're even if I want. I can line them up that, um, and we continue to do this process. So if I want, to rotate this, I can go right click and then rotate cell, it rotates for me. So I uh, can set that up. 
So we continue to go through this process, sort of lining up all of these different cells. Do, oh, see, I click 12 by 12, that's a really big cell. So it may be a new page, but if I make it smaller here using the handle, I'm holding down shift uh, if I want to keep the proportions the same. And I can move that here. This starts a new page. So if you want to do more than one sneak peek at a time, you can do that. Um, just haven't started a new page. Um, so we'll keep making a couple cells here. Let's make a couple more. Uh, and I'm not measuring too closely now for the purposes of this um, tutorial, but uh, if you want to get more exact, you can and rotate that. This is just sort of give you a flavor of what's possible more than anything else. So let's four by six, move that over here. You can have cells overlapping, those overlapping, however you like. Um, get rid of that. Uh, let's zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. We'll do one more, two more, a couple more. Anyway, you're, I hope you're getting the idea here. I know it's tedious watching somebody else work, um, but you know, you signed up. You can leave any time you like. Nobody's making you stay. Um, and there's no candy at the end of the tutorial. So, do one more. You get the point. Okay. So, oops. Anyway, okay. Now I'm getting a little bit bored. So, I'm going to just stop. Um, so, once you have your cells here all set up, then it's time, and I, you know, you can add spacing or whatever. If you want to uh, reduce the size, you can, again, change that with your print job settings. If I want to make this less wide, so let's make it a little bit less wide. I can do that, or even less than that. Oops, maybe not that much. Whatever. Okay, whatever. You can change the size of that. Um, but again, I have... I have my pictures down here. So at this point, I can take my picture. I'm going to just pick a picture. Let's pick this one and drag and drop and drop it in there. Um, and just do that with the remainder of the images. Uh, you may find that not all the images, oh, wait, let's do that one instead. Um, not all the images fit exactly, and it, you can't move your image within the cell. So I can't move this picture around in the cell. Um, so that's a little bit of a downside of doing it this way, um, for example, um, but uh, I don't know, it gives you that point, right? So you have your collage set up here or your sneak peek. Um, a lot of times it's uh, helpful to watermark your images. So to do that, you can either add what's called an identity plate. Um, let's go here. Um, on your uh, page, and that can add one, your, just your logo by ident You can either have text or to have your logo, you um, click this little down arrow, edit, and then use graphic identity plate. And then you find your logo on your um, thing here. Um, zoom in, sorry. Uh, and then you find your logo wherever you have it stored and click OK. And so you can put that just one image on your sneak peek. So let's say I'll just put it there for now. So that's one option. You can um, also put it around on every every photo by clicking render on every image. Um, the third way of putting your watermark on there is if you've made a watermark already, um, which may be a different tutorial, you can click watermark I'm going to just take that away for now. Watermark, and then pick the watermark that you used. That's something that you would use on export usually, or something that you would set up on export. Um, if you don't know how to do that, uh, let me know, and I'll do another thing, because that's a little bit beyond what I want to focus on here. From here, I want to show you how to save the template so you don't have to repeat your work later on. Um, oops. Um, you go into Template Browser here. Uh, and you click plus, and then you can go over here and you can name your template. I'll just call it for 
Photography, Sneak, Peek, and I can save that, create it. So um, next time you come in, you can um, go down to your templates here, and you have if you have different photos selected, uh, you can select that from your uh, your template browser. Um, so it's all ready to go, and then uh, you can go and print this. file and we'll save this uh, on the desktop okay oh, I already made this before so I'll just replace it and um, it might take a little while to uh, print uh, or render to the desktop because essentially what it's doing is it is exporting each of the pictures um, right from this uh, print module so this is the point of the tutorial where if we were live, I would probably throw candy for you, but uh, we are coming to you through the internet. So we're just gonna have to wait and watch this little bar go and we're almost done. Okay, so here, so here you go. This sort of shows what we were talking about there. Um, uh, in terms of the layout, uh, you know, obviously you can customize it the way that works for you, but this, uh, that's the idea. It has the features and the watermark, um, that I mentioned earlier and all those custom features. So anyway, um, well, I hope that this was helpful for you. Um, you know, if it was, uh, I'd appreciate you subscribing to the channel and uh, if you have other questions feel free to send them my way and i'll do my best to answer them um, but uh, appreciate you listening thanks